हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ ए पी आई डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग गो फाइबर फ्रेमवर्क इन द लास्ट फ्यू सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी वर्क ऑन अवर ब्लॉग लिस्ट फंक्शनलिटी एंड वी वेर एबल टू गेट द लिस्ट ऑफ ब्लॉग फ्राम द डेटा बेस एंड दैट ए पी आई फॉर द अवर फर्स्ट ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट फॉर द गेट रिक्वेस्ट दैट सो दैट इज़ वर्किंग फाइन एंड वी कैन चेक इन द थंडर क्लाइंट इट्स uh we can uh, use postman as well but uh, thunder client is better that uh, that is uh, easily available uh, right inside the vs code so if we run our this api endpoint that it uh, uh, the get route so if we click on send so we are getting this two data so they are coming from database the first record is uh, having id 1 and second is having id 2 so what we are going to do is that uh, we will save a new record uh and we uh, actually we are going to take the request from the user in the form of json and uh, we will process that request and we will save that data into the database and uh, believe me so that is uh, very very easy and i am sure that uh, you are going to enjoy it so first of all in order to do that so we will create a variable and that would be a new instance of our model dot blog so and uh, next so we are going to actually so we our fiber context so they have very nice method to do all the uh, much more heavy lifting for us so again so we are going to actually uh, uh, we need to parse the body from the request it from the request object so we will use the body parser and uh, this will directly take the request i mean the body part uh, from the uh, from the request and we'll pass that into the variable of our struct blog struct so that way so since and also we need to pass provide is uh, it as a reference so that uh, i mean the this i mean the actual underlying fields of the our blog struct that can be uh, reset or updated and uh, it may return an error so we will check if there is any error so we are going to say log dot we will log that error so we log dot print and uh, we will say error in parsing request simple and uh, if there is no error so now actually we have to save the data in the uh, database so that is also very very simple so database dot we are already having a dbcon variable and uh, this gorm is, uh, is uh, provides a very nice way to create a, a new record in database so using create method and we simply need to provide the uh, we will pass on provide the variable record and it may return an error so actually it returns a interface so result and uh, we will we can here we will check if result dot error is not equal to nil so that means that uh, uh, our uh, our create operation failed and uh, uh, we will simply log this error as well so log dot print ln and uh, we will say error in saving data and uh, if everything goes well so there is no error so that means we our operation got successful so we will return the actual data that was added and we will provide the record and also so we will adjust this variables as well so we will say context and uh, message as uh, so we will provide something meaningful so that our front end guy can use it accordingly record is saved successfully okay and uh, and if any error comes in so we will return context and uh, instead of status text as Text text as okay, so we will return 
empty and uh, we will also say and we actually we can also return the message as well so if there is any error so and uh, or we can i mean we can return a generic message that something went wrong or whatever or whatever message we want to return so i am going with this with this one as itself and if everything goes well so and if we run our uh, program again so right now still so there is only two records so i am going to change from the request method from get to uh, to post and uh, we will need to provide the data in the form of json so first of all i am going to provide the title so the title would be let's say new title and uh, second field would be our post so this would be new post content and uh, better format it and now if we uh, send this request i mean test the uh, this api route so we will send it so we should get so the new data has been added id having id 3 the title is this and we got this message as well and the status text as okay so we can also test it out using the get route so we should hopefully get the three records so yes so we have got uh, the our newly created uh, uh, post also added in our database and uh, this is literally very very simple i i had promised that that, that you are just going to enjoy it and uh, believe me this is very very easy and uh, actually so uh, uh, one more thing so you might remember that uh, you might get confused that uh, we provided this json uh, and this title so how how did this uh, i mean this body parser converted that uh, json into the appropriate db fields so in order to do that to check that so we will need to come to our model so in our model file so we had uh, structured it in uh, this way that we had till we had also used this json flag as well so json attribute so here we are telling that in the our struct field name is the title with the capital t so that we can modify it uh, from the outside of this package and but in the json but whenever uh, but uh, but whenever we talk we, we talk about in terms of json so this the so that is called the corresponding json field would be the title so that way so from our request we are uh, getting we got this uh, lowercase title uh, as a request body so it was but only with, for only because of this the uh, this piece of information so our the title field in the request body that was correctly mapped to the actual struct field that is mapped to our uh, database and likewise it also happened for, for, with the post one as well so this json that we are telling that in json when we talk about this that, uh, that json so our post this post field is going to be mapped with the json labeled as uh, i mean the J in the json field the corresponding field name would be post so this is how uh, we were correctly we were perfectly able to very easily convert map this json data into our struct field so that's all for this session and uh, if you have anything to say or any query or anything so please uh, do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding